What's up my guys, Jenna here and back again for another video and today it is going to be some games you must play with this beautiful console right here, the PlayStation 2. Now there's a little bit of a debate out there as to whether or not this is actually a retro console. I'm of the opinion, and again it, it is my opinion, that I think it, it is a retro console for me, although you can still buy many PS2 games in many high street stores like Granger Games um, and some game do actually stock PS2. I still feel for me that it does pack a nostalgia punch enough for it to be a retro console but let me know your comments, uh, sorry your thoughts in the comment section as to whether or not you think the PS2 is a retro console or not. With that being said I have three titles to talk about today that I feel deserve a little bit more attention within our gaming world and as ever if you're new to the channel this pl particular playlist isn't about hidden gems as such. Um, but it's definitely about titles that probably deserve a little bit more attention and as ever I like your opinions and recommendations below. Now this entire playlist is linked below, additional videos in the cards, I think this is video number 3 for games you must play on our PS2 side of things so let's kick it off guys. This is my first game, let's do it. First up then is a very unique RPG that I picked up recently, I got a real bargain on this, I think I paid £15 for it, it is Dark Cloud, if you're lucky enough to get a copy of this game cheap, I would say definitely pick this up, otherwise it's, you're probably looking at about £30 if you can't get it cheap, I've seen this at most gaming markets for around the £30 mark, so, and I'm glad I kind of held off. So what is Dark Cloud? Dark Cloud combines RPG elements with kind of like simulation building um, elements really and the two, two, two variations merge together to form an, an incredible game. Now it's up to you as the protagonist, I think it's Tone, I think I, if I pronounced that right, to rebuild the world by defeating bosses and various other enemies in dungeons. Um, you don't level up in normal ways like you would in an RPG but you can level up your weapons and I just love the fact that you can really kind of customise like different little add-ons to your weapons and I love the fact as well that this reminds me a lot of Zelda. Now correct me if I'm wrong, if you've played it, let me know what you think to this, but I feel like some of the kind of sound effects that the character makes when you're in kind of like real-time battle, because it's not turn-based, when you're in battle, remind me so much of Link. Um, it really kind of really taps into that nostalgia for me in terms of your Zelda game, so I really, really enjoy that. Um, and as I've said, you can you can you rebuild the world by collecting, um, I think it's Altar or Alter, however it's pronounced. When you defeat when you defeat dungeons, so that gives the ability to kind of like trees to be replenished, um, various items within towns that you can all move around and you can actually talk to the locals about where where to kind of like move things and you know get their opinion on things. So I really really think that that kind of like combining of of like two different genres is absolutely wicked. Um, let me know if you've played it. Let me know if you intend to pick it up. But if you can find a copy for about 20 25 quid max. I definitely think this is worth it and if you are going to pay top whack for it I definitely say make sure that it is complete as well because I have seen a couple of copies um, at gaming markets for about 30 quid, I remember this one, one uh, copy and it didn't have the manual and I think that was the reason now on reflection that I kind of I didn't buy it and I'm glad that I did because I picked this up really cheap from CEX 15 quid I think I think it was 15 quid so Dark Cloud if you're an RPG fan um, if you like your Zeldas, you might see a little bit of a resemblance in here, in the, especially in the dungeon kind of crawling side of it. Um, and if you're a bit of a strategy fan with your, your kind of simulation games, definitely pick this up. It's an awesome game and I highly recommend that you guys find a copy. Next up then um, is a definitely a game I've not spoken about on camera before. It's definitely a game I've not uh, talked about on social media. It is The Mark of Cree. Now, what does it for me in The Mark of Cree? And it's been a while since I've played it, but I remember it so well because it reminded me a lot of, of Tomb Raider. The types of environments, the jungle environments, um, you know, the waterfalls that you see, the kind of the stone steps, you know, things like stone steps and you just, just various spaces that pop out of stone uh, buildings. Uh, remind me very much of Tomb Raider and I really, really like that. And if you're a fan of your hack and slash games, combine this with a bit of Tomb Raider, then that for me is a really crap description of the Mark of Cree, but that's, that's as good as I can think to explain it really. Um, also as well, I will say in the combat system, if you're familiar with um, the Batman games like Arkham Asylum and things like that, think about you know the combat, it's really really quick, you can kind of dart between player to player to player to player to player when you're kind of punching, kicking etc, carrying out moves. This is kind of definitely the same with the hack and slash, it's very kind of person to person. Um, really, really enjoyed this game actually. I, 
I, I just absolutely love this game. I can't recommend it enough. I don't see a lot of people talk about it. And this is, again, the point of the playlist. It's just to get games out there and maybe just give them, like I said, a bit more attention. Now, if you've played it, let me know. If you haven't played it, um, I don't remember where I got this from. And sadly, I don't know the value of this game. Um, don't Again, don't see it around a lot. But if you've got it, let me know. And what do you, what do you think would be a good price to pay for the Mark of Cree? Um, decent game. You've got to pick it up. If you like your Hack and Slash, if you like your Tomb Raider, um, it's aged pretty well. I will say that. that it's, it's not too bad when you play it. Um, because I have seen a couple of videos. Um, I did see a couple of videos. And I, read a, I, I was reading an article in this in an old gamer magazine that I had as well. I remember looking at the picture, the screenshots, thinking, that's not bad by today's standards. So the Mark of Cree, guys, pick it up. It's my second recommended PS2 game in this video. Smash your comments below. So my final game in this episode of Games You Must Play is Jack and Daxter, The Precursor Legacy. Now, if you've not played it, just think about Naughty Dog back in the 90s, early 2000s. What comes to mind? What game comes to mind when you think about Naughty Dog, particularly in the 90s? Crash Bandicoot. Now, if you were to think of maybe Crash Bandicoot, if Crash Bandicoot and Banjo-Kazooie had a baby, the game that would be produced would be something like this, Jack and Daxter, The Precursor Legacy. So if you think about your bright colour palettes, if you think about your kind of third person, um, lots of camera rotations, really, really vibrant world, that's pretty much the setting for this. Um, now the aim of the game is to kind of collect power orbs to progress to different levels So there's a little bit of a challenge involved because obviously you have to make sure you've collected all your power orbs I just love it. I absolutely think it's a phenomenal game And it was a game at the time of release that I remember shying away from um, Because I think at the time I was at university when this kind of came out And it was a, it was probably a game that I don't think me and my peers would have really liked to kind of tap into Because I would have classed it back as an 18 year old Gemma is way too immature to play um, so this would have probably been a game that I would have left to my little, um, my half brother Jordan, in fact I'm sure we did play this. Um, but now as an adult I really really love it because it's that part of me again that really kind of takes me back to the, the mid 90s, that nostalgia again. Um, and I just think it's awesome and I have tons of love for Naughty Dog as well. Can you name a bad Naughty Dog game? Name a terrible Naughty Dog game. If you can't, let me know. Um, but if you can, I really want to hear from you. Name a bad Naughty Dog game. But this is definitely worth a shot. Platinum copy for this, but again, that doesn't really bother me. If you've played it, let me know. If you're going to get it, I think this costs about seven quid. So nice and nice and kind of price friendly, if you would, for want of a better phrase. So definitely check this out. This is my third game you must play from the PS2 section. And we're going to conclude right now. So there we go guys, I just want to say thank you so much for the support, got an awesome video planned for this week and then next weekend there is going to be a mammoth retro game hunt at the gaming market, the retro gaming market in Doncaster, um, so if you go to that, you know, um, let me know, I'm really really looking forward to it, I mean I think my brother's coming, I'm not sure if my auntie's going, I think my brother's going, my brother and my nephew, I need to check in with him today, uh, but I'm super looking forward to that. And obviously after that there's going to be a pickups video to follow as well. Um, I think this time I'm going to make a list of games that I really, really want. I'd like to walk away with Cooler World on the PS1. Um, and I think a double case copy of Crash Bandicoot. So that's, I think that's where I'm going to be kind of at, depending on price. We'll see, we'll see what goes on. Uh, but I'm so looking forward to it. Now as ever guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. Please smash your recommendations below and if you've got any recommendations for future videos you would like to see, again, give me a shout. Got loads planned. I'm super excited for the channel. You guys are awesome. My name's Gemma. Take care. See you soon.